Let's get this merch. Subscribe to the PDH Network. All right, y'all see what we got going on here today. As y'all see the thumbnail, y'all read the title under the thumbnail. Yeah, man, today's video is dealing with you guys. Matter of fact, you already know who I'm talking about, man. It's the Paper Rock Ops, and that's your gaudy brother, Big Juk, and two of his homeboys. Well, we already know that one of Big Juk affiliates, who happens to be Govin, he just got released. But y'all got to understand, once Govin got released, a train of events started to take place. And if y'all not familiar with what's been going down, let me give y'all a quick update. Well, check this out, man. We already know that Govin, the one who said he orchestrated and paid for Young Dolph to get sent up, well, he just got released. And I'm trying to tell y'all, man, that right there, it confused a lot of people. And that's counting Young Dolph brother Marcus Thornton and Young Dolph girl Mia Jake. Because the folks is trying to understand how did the person who actually stated that he had something to do with taking out Young Dolph get a bond and get a bond so low. While Straight Drop and Cornelia Smith, they denied having anything to do with taking out Young Dolph. While on the other end, Straight Drop and Cornelia Smith, they was denied they bond. So again, the one who say he actually did it, he the one that get a bond, it don't make no sense, y'all. But again, because it doesn't make sense to us, that doesn't mean that the Alphabet Boys, they don't have a plan, which I believe they do. And I believe that one of those plans was giving Govin a bond release just so they can see who going to pay it. And what's even more interesting is that Govin, he got released two days before your goddess B day. So that should tell y'all right there, that was a calculated move from the Alphabet Boys. But going back to the train of events, like I just stated, you had Govan to get released. And then after that, you had Black Youngster's sister, she got hit with a couple shells. And you got some folks saying the reason why Black Youngster's sister got hit with some shells is because of her brother, Black Youngster. Well, this is not the first time that one of Black Youngster's siblings got hit with some shells because of him. The first time is dealing with Black Youngster's younger brother. Well, he got sent up because all that bogus activity that Black Youngster was getting into. And some folks are saying that it has something to do with sending those hundred shells at Young Dolph. Well, I don't know if that's true, but I do know that Black Youngster, he got himself involved in a lot of mess. And that mess that he got involved in, it will come back around. It's called karma. But y'all got to understand that karma, it won't always go back to him. But the people that's around him, the people that he really love, those would be the people to get taken out again because of all that mess that Black Youngster is involved in. And then we have this situation, and that's pertaining to this video. And that's dealing with one of Big Jig homeboys. Somebody sent shells at him because it was stated that he was hanging around Govin. And some folks saying the only reason why he was hanging around Govin because he was a middleman for Big Jig. Meaning that Big Juke, he really didn't see no interest of being around Govin. So what they did was, they set up a middleman. They had a guy that will relay messages back and forth from Big Juke to Govin. And that same guy is the one who got hit with the shells. Like I just told y'all, being around Govin. Now, it was never stated that this person who sent the shells at Big Juke Homeboy was affiliated to Young Dolph or Paper Route. It could be anybody that don't like the way that Yo Gotti or Big Jip is moving out there. And I believe Finesse two times, he spoke on that as well. When he was sending messages to Honeycomb Brazy while he was in the feds, where Finesse two times even told Honeycomb Brazy that once he got released, he couldn't go back to Memphis because they was going to do him the same way that they did Young Dolph. And that's the reason why Finesse two times kept pushing for Honeycomb Brazy to call Jay Prince. To help get him out that situation with that OG that's in Memphis. And again, this is the same OG that Big Juke and Yo Gotti reports to. So again, while a lot of people think that Yo Gotti and Big Juke paid that bag to have Young Dolph removed, they saying it's an OG out there and he making major moves. Man, I'm trying to tell y'all, if Finesse Two Times is talking about a certain OG in Memphis that got a lot of plug and connections out there, that means that Money Bad Gil is familiar with this same dude. And this could be the same cat that's protecting Money Bad Gil. Because why would Finesse two times say 
he don't want to get done like they did Dolph. I mean, he knows something about the person who paid to have young Dolph removed. Again, this all goes back to what I said before. There's a lot of hands involved in taking out young Dolph. That the people right now is trying to find out who paid that bag to have young Dolph removed. Matter of fact, as always, let's first pay our respects and say rest in peace to young Dolph. Condolences to his family and much love to all my folks in Dolph land. But see, this all goes back to what I stated before. And that's your Gotti, his brother Big Juk, Govin, Black Youngster, and anybody else who had their hands in taking out Young Dolph. They didn't understand how much love and support that Young Dolph had. Until situations like this happened. And the people could see from a global perspective how much love that Young Dolph actually had. And like I said, man, not just in Memphis. I'm talking about across the globe. So getting away with taking out Young Dolph is not going to come easy because the folks, they not going to let it rest. But let me tell y'all the reason why that OG in Memphis wanted Young Dolph removed. Because the OG, he had set up a meeting between Young Dolph and Yo Gotti to have so they could squash that beef. And hopefully with that, work on some music together sometime in the future. But because Young Dolph had some shows in the ATL and South Carolina, he wasn't able to make that meeting that the OG wanted to have with him and Yo Gotti. So to the OG, it felt like Young Dolph was trying to play him. So they saying that the same OG, he got in contact with not just Yo Gotti and Big Juk, but he also got in contact with Maurice and Raven. And that's the reason why Pam, she didn't really know anything because the information based around sending up Young Dolph, it was never exposed to her. So she never knew what was really going on. But like I just stated, Maurice and Raven did. That's the reason why Raven, her storyline never added up to Maurice's. She would say Maurice told her this and that, but Maurice, he would say something else. So again, they said that the same OG, he made a call to Maurice and Raven to let them know what was going down and to be prepared. With that, Raven stated herself that they got a phone call from some older sounding guy soon as young Dolph walked into the cookie shop. Now that should tell y'all something about this OG. And that's the reason why you have somebody like Govin who say he orchestrated and paid for Young Dolph to get sent up. When half of that is true, because we know that Govin, he was a real criminal in the streets. He has a criminal history, but the other half pertaining to him having money and funding this whole plan to take out Young Dolph, nobody believed that part, not even the Alphabet Boys. Again, that's the reason why they gave him such a low bond. A low bond to a person that they know is a flight risk. So again, that should let y'all know it's some real strategic moves based around this whole Young Dolph case. And trust and believe, even though they following Govin at this time, y'all best believe they still on Black Youngster. The one who sent shells at Govin, they also want your boy Black Youngster. And that's the reason why somebody sent shells at Black Youngster's sister. Because Black Youngster, he was out there running his mouth too much. And like I told y'all before, that's the same thing that got Black Youngster's brother sent up. And that's the moves of Black Youngster. And that's a loyal guard dog for Yo Gotti and his brother Big Juk. Because everybody know, he let the world know that he has something to do with taking out Young Dolph. But with all this going on, we just hope that Young Dolph's family get justice for his untimely demise. So with that, always be aware and always stay prepared. But hey, we get more in store, as always. Y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it's worth. Let's get this merch. Subscribe to the PDH Network.